message started coming in, we write it down in English, hand it over our shoulder to the runner, st Navy runner standing behind us 24 hours a day. He takes it up to the bridge, gives it to the general or the admiral. They read it, they respond. The runner brings it back down. If on top of that message that he brought back down says Arizona, New Mexico, we send that message back out to where it is intended in Navajo code. Uh, heroes of the war effort, Nicole, today is National Navajo Code Talkers Day. Yeah, a day to honor the contributions of Native Americans who helped allied forces win World War II. And the Navajo Code Talkers, they're famous. They use the complexity of their native tongue to encode messages the enemy was never able to crack. As the tribe marks this special day, Navajo President Jonathan Nez says after at one point having more cases per capita than anyone else in the country, they are ready to reopen now slowly. We have a reopening plan that, that kind of uh, emulates the CDC protocols and it's going to be a phase in approach. After months of a strict shutdown and weekend curfews on the Navajo Nation, tribal leaders are unveiling a reopening plan. You see uh, the flattening of the curve and the lessening of the cases here on the Navajo Nation. And, you know, we have incorporated um, some tough uh, public health orders. It's been five months since the first COVID case was reported here, and at one point, the Navajo Nation became the hardest hit place in the country. Now, tribal leaders are urging people to get prepared for a possible second wave during flu season this winter. People are wood hauling, uh, getting their supplies. The farmers are uh, getting their produce ready uh, to package for the winter so that, you know, we can prepare ourselves for a possible uh, second wave. As part of the reopening plan, all businesses on the Navajo Nation must develop plans and procedures to ensure physical distancing and make sure facilities are properly cleaned to prevent the spread of the virus. It'll be part of a color-coded status going from red, meaning high restrictions, to green, meaning lower restrictions. The first and current status is orange, meaning moderately high restrictions are in place. I appreciate the patience of our Navajo citizens because a lot of people are wanting things done, uh, paperwork to be moved forward by our Navajo Nation government. And it wasn't the case for uh, several weeks now. And um, we're hopeful that once the doors get open again, that uh, direct services will be provided to our, our constituents. As for school, tribal leadership recommends schools on the Navajo Nation continue distance learning at least through this current semester.